What is up, everybody? I see Mike back again, bringing you another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, episode 6 of our French Frontier playthrough. So let's go ahead, get right to it, because we've got a lot to do in order to not get our butts kicked. As I've mentioned before, this is my first playthrough as France, so things may not have been done 100% correctly, but we are going to try to make the best decisions possible. I've been reading your comments and your, your suggestions for strategy, so keep those coming because I'm definitely going to implement those as I play. Speaking of strategy suggested to me, I was told of a really good idea, which I'm not sure why I didn't think of this, but nonetheless, nonetheless, we need to do it, and that is we need to build more forts and max them out. So that is what we're going to do firstly to make sure that this entire line has nothing but forts. Specifically around Italy and Germany, because that is really gonna help us hold them back, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do Switzerland too. So there, oh, did I miss one? And I'm actually gonna bump them up and go ahead and get those going first. I didn't miss one. So I'm going to go ahead and bump these up. I have some anti-air, but I want these forts done as quick as possible. So let's go ahead and get these done. So I'm holding shift and clicking this button to just pop them to the top. So there we go. So hopefully that gets done. We have 44 civilian factories, so we're, we'd be moving at a pretty good speed. We'll go ahead and uh, get time a moving. Now it says we have battle plans unassigned, and that's due to the fallback line we've created. Um, so yeah... Oh, no longer getting effects from factory strikes. Awesome. We had a modifier in one of our earlier episodes that gave us, um, basically our factory workers were on strike for a short period of time. That seems to have gone ahead and run its course. We've also split our, our military up a little bit. We have our Italian border, which um, should not have any cavalry, and it does. So let's, um, we gotta do this focus first. I really want the extra research slot. So I think with with the idea of remaining historical, we're going to go here, support the status quo, which is going to give us more unity, which is actually important for us since our unity is really low. And we're just going to move down this right here. Unfortunately, to go with Britain, we have to, we can't create our own faction and go with Poland, Romania, and Yugoslavia, but um, Britain's going to be more helpful to us. The other solution would be to go... Um, with the USR, USSR, sorry about that. And I, I guess technically we could kind of do both, I, I, to my understanding. Um, I don't know, there's not a decision here, maybe not. But if we could, we could potentially support the left and go ahead and get um, USR, the Russians, USSR, involved. Here's some Alpine forts. This is, uh, this is probably something we should consider since we are building forts. So let's go ahead and do that. We could do the research a little bit later. Go ahead and get time going. And this is our first political advisor. Awesome. And because our industry is kind of slow, that is what I'm going to do. We have our industry ones down here. War industrial list, which is military factory and dockyard speed. This is conversion cost. And this is like a whole bunch of different stuff. Rocket sites, nuclear. But we're not going to get into that much later. So the, the most immediate effect would be this guy right here and that's what we're gonna go for okay so back to our military I have all my mountaineers and infantry holding this line but um, cavalry isn't super strong on the mountainous region so I do want to remove that the cavalry that I do have and switch them over to infantry and I should have done this a long time ago but we are doing it now which is fine so just uh, Infantry, okay. Exit. This needs to be infantry. Strikes are over. We already knew that. Thanks for letting us know. 30 years later. And that's Mountaineer. We don't want to need to change those. And I'm going to do another Mountaineer on this one. Kind of balance it out. Perfect. So there, they're going to hold the line as strong as possible. And same here. We shall see, though. We're going to do our best. 
This is also my my Panzer division. Well, not my Panzer. That's uh, that's Germany. I've played as Germany offline before, but this is going to be my tank division. We have them separated out because their battle plans will be a little bit different. And I kind of discuss how I do that in some of my other tutorials, like uh, war tactics and division templates. So you guys, if you haven't checked those out, make sure you do. I think most of you have because that's how you get to my Let's Play. But just in case you have it, there's a little little um, self promotion there. But anyways, let's get back to it. Our navy is going to be real focused on just guarding borders. We're going to have to make sure that we stop the naval invasions. And that also reminds me, I want to build coastal forts on the uh, provinces with seaports. So let's go ahead and do that, that, and that. Those three are good. There's no more ports there. And then one there. Well, not one, but ten. Here, we have so many ports, which is unfortunate, so this is going to take a little bit of time to do, but it will be worth it in the long run. So we're going to spend a majority of our construction just building forts, fortifying all of this. So now I'm going to go ahead and bump these up, but I don't want to do it so much. Actually, it would be easier if I just bump these down. That'll make more sense. Let's do it that way. Because I don't want them to, I, the, the regular forts, the land forts are much more important at this point. And the anti-air actually needs to go up too. So I'm going to do these one more time. Military factories can be last, but I want that anti-air completed first. Or before, I guess I should say. And this one, we kind of misclicked on it. So let's get this back up in there. Perfect. Also, uh, we want to keep an eye on our fighters. We, we, we've got them. We've got all our planes being built right now, but um, we want to build as many as we can. So whenever we this one gets to 300, we'll we'll create another one. I'm gonna go ahead and do a close air support one though. Get that deployed. Definitely want air superiority. Paris is pretty much the main thing we have to guard. Um, we let go of Paris, and then we pretty much lose northern France and we're going to fall, have to fall back to, to southern France. And then we need to get infantry equipment back to positive land here because we have a crap ton of infantry equipment we cannot take care of. And that's just going to be due to getting um, military factories, which means we need to go down this line. But I wanted to get forts first. This just is for opinion. We may skip that for a little bit. We may go back up here and do this one next. I think that's a little bit more important. And then that should put us back into 1938. And that's when we'll move over here and go with Britain and form that alliance. Because we know at the end of 1938 or somewhere in the middle of 1939, that is when shit hits the fan, so to speak. And we want to be ready for that, most definitely. Also, we have a little bit of experience um, that we could possibly spend. I definitely want engineer companies and I can't see, I can't do, but I, I got to do this first. I've got to do um, engineering companies and I'm going to go ahead and I can't, I'm trying to get my combat width to an even number, but I'm not going to be able to afford it. So I may, might just wait. So let's, let's go ahead and just switch this with the engineering company, save that so that can get completed because that is super important. And the reason why is we are going to be very defensive in this war. I mean, obviously, because uh, if any of you know what happens in World War II, the Germans take over all of France. We're trying to prevent that. So we just need to hold the line and have as much defense as possible. And that is what this engineering company does. It gives us a plus 24 defense and plus 5 entrenchment. Okay, we got improved machine tools. Awesome. So we're just going to keep moving along. It's 1937, so we need to make sure we have all of this done. Um, I'm kind of regretting going down this one because this has a little bit better stuff for defending nations. You know, we get the, uh, the 10% vulnerability and I think we're going to get bombed quite a bit and you get more factories in a state, but, uh, nonetheless, the decision was already made. It would be inefficient to turn back around and redo all of those. So we're just going to stick with it and hope it is going to do what we need to do. Just checking everything, making sure everything is good. Luckily, resources are not that big of a problem. The only thing we are importing is oil. 
and Alpine forts have been completed. Perfect. Now we're going to do as I said and go for this one. Gets us more infrastructure, which really isn't important, but it leads to a lot better things. More specifically, we get four freaking military factories down here. And the Hindenburg disaster actually happened in this playthrough. So I'm not sure what really that affects much, but um, nonetheless, go ahead and start that. Oh yeah, baby. And it looks like the Republicans may win this, which is really good for us. I'm hoping that's the case. And the reason why is there's a possibility that if Nationalist wins, they would be invited in the faction, um, you know, with Germany and Italy, and we could eventually get attacked from here, and we don't want that to happen. So if it's Republican Spain, that gives access to us, to UK, and anybody else who joins the Allies, which definitely will give us a little bit of a benefit. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move these over here because I'm not going to have much, I just, I'm not going to have enough air superiority for this. So I'm not, I'm kind of concerned about that. I'm also going to move this fleet over because if they're going to bomb me, they're going to, they're going to do it there. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So I am going to move them here for now. And then they need a commander. Uh, I just took them out of port. They can't do that. And same here. We've got three fleets here. Um, I don't have many ports I can use. I can put them there. That's kind of close, but maybe they won't we'll move them there for now. Okay, perfect. But as you can see, Italy's already stacking the line. So if I... <laughs> Now, I've never played as France, but if I remember correctly, I think Italy usually is the aggressor normally in the historical playthrough first. So I need to make sure these forts, these forts are built first. And they're not. Okay, so we need... I need the states map. Savoy. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, bump Savoy up. Not Champagne. Dang it. And Provence. There's more Savoy here. Maybe it's all the Savoy. I hope I'm saying that right. Let me know if I'm not. Okay. Yep. It's just all in that one province. Move this one down one. Get these forts done first, because like I said, I think... I hope I'm right about this, but I'm pretty sure Italy attacks first. Although, we have a better chance of holding them without forts because of the mountains. I'm going to go ahead and build those first. Then we'll move over here because we already have forts here. It's the forts that we don't have here, which is going to take a little bit of time because Germany is going to have to go to war with them. Which, you know, won't take them long because Germany is a superpower and all. Okay. I'm going to bump it up to speed 5 thing. Oh, as soon as I did that, we've got to research. So I will go back down. And I'll leave time running as I select this one. 1939. Well, now i got two, so i got to pause. Okay. It's a little too early to move up to artillery. So let's go to our infantry. We want to make sure that we have everything we need. This is going to be an important research, because look at all the defense it gives us. But it's a little early. It's going to take us 209 days. We still are in 1937. Field hospitals I know are important with manpower. So maybe that's something we should do. I'm going to do field hospitals. And then we're kind of caught up here. Oh man, I neglected this one. What was I thinking? Okay, well that's unfortunate. So I'm not going to have any of this. There's some research speeds here. So I'm about to cruise down this one. That was a misplay on my part. I, I don't know how that happened. But regardless, we got to deal with it now. Also, if you guys will let me know um, anything that you think I should do, I would gladly appreciate it because, like I said, I've never played France before. And I think it's relatively tough. I mean... They really, really, especially historically. Now, I think if I was to do a non-historical and, you know, maybe go with the the Russians and do a different route, 
you know, I may have a better idea or a better chance at survival, but I'm, I'm sure there's a, a easy way to do it. And it's just a matter of doing it the right way. So if you guys can let me know, maybe I can salvage all the mistakes that I've made so far. Love would love hearing from you guys. I'm just hoping that uh, the U.S. comes in the war fairly quickly, but usually they come in much, much later, which is unfortunate because you're a game changer, baby. And I'm, I'm debating. I think I need to bring my African campaign in. Um, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to bring them in. I'd rather... This could be risky, though, because... This could be a lost cause anyways, and I could at least hold on to Africa. But I think if I lose this, I'm just going to... I may have to call it. We'll see, though. Okay. But anyways, I want to... Let's go ahead and get them in Paris first. So delete all their orders. They just come to Paris. Why aren't you coming to Paris? Okay, selected you. Yeah, I right-clicked. No, I left clicked and it still didn't work. What's happening here? Right click. I guess I have to create a front line. That's the only thing I can think of. All right. That'll send them there. And that they can hold, help hold this part of the line. Now, we're going to have to keep an eye because Luxembourg kind of will just fall all at the same time. And we don't want to get... I know how this will work. This is going to get pinched in and I don't want that. I want a strong line. Amelia... Earnhardt or Earhart, Earhart, she circumvented the globe. Okay, so here they come. Convoys are sending them over. Oh, we had a take division finish. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put them in the right one. So we hold control and click that one because that is the tank one. So they'll go and participate in that little shindig. Gonna make this episode a little bit longer today so we can get a little bit more done. I know these last couple two episodes have just been really just kind of letting time go by. That's why I have it at speed four so things move a little bit quicker for you guys. I know we want to get to the action. I know I am anticipating and anxious for what is awaiting for me from the Germans and the Italians. God, I just wish I... I need more military factories. I really do. 22,000. Let's check our logistics. Everything is positive, so we're not... We're making more than we're using, but... Still. Still not that great. Okay, the African campaign is... Is making its way. And we just finished a focus. Just gonna keep doing industry. So we can build these forts and coastal forts as quick as possible let's check on them so we've got five built and four here and one and one. Oh, they all started with two already so i think that's from one of our our researches our focuses i mean so these will be done hopefully pretty soon national unity sucks right now okay marco polo bridge incident so this is the first incident that really starts things uh, Japan and China are basically having their little conflict, so they're going to be at war fairly soon. We've already had the, the Spanish Civil War. Looking good for my Republican Spain. What is Germany up to? So they're doing air innovations. So we're going to go down here, choose one of these. What about Italy? When Italy gets down to the, what is it, the Steel Pact... That's when things are get going to heat up. See, the Pact of Steel's right here. So this is where they befriend uh, Germany. Then they get claims on France right after, if they want. They may do the treaty first. But uh, that means we're only 70... Once When this hits, they're 70 days away from going to war. So we got to keep an eye on Italy. When they do that Pact of Steel, we know things are going to happen relatively quickly, quickly after that. Just keep moving these guys over. Yeah, I just don't want them here. Although this is, you know, useful, it's just too close. I don't, I don't want to lose this stuff. And I think I just don't have enough firepower to maintain control over it right now. Um, hopefully, eventually, my navy can do enough damage where I can control all of this. But for now, the main 
the main thing is um, just protecting our borders in this sea here, this sea here, and the channel here. Which hopefully UK does most of the channel work, but I know Germany will send some stuff here. So we're probably, probably going to um, maybe split up this fleet with this one, put them on patrol, have a patrol squad here and here, and hopefully that's enough to, to kind of control our, our borders, I hope. Oh, nice. So we're getting some pretty good political power. Not really. Point two. I'm lying. But uh, get we can buy something for 50? Really? What is 50 that I can even get? Why tease me like that? Why? Why, why, why? Army defense? Well, that's not actually a bad one. Army offense we're not going to do. The specialist gives you plus 5% division defense. Well, this one gives you plus 10 and it's cheaper? I guess it... I get it because of the focus. Well, shoot, that's a good one. All right, let's do that one then. Sounds good to me. Sign me up. So we're in August 1937, so we're about to enter the year of 1938. And this is really the year where things start heating up. And then by the end of it, things are way too hot to handle. Way too hot. Look at Italy with their freaking uh, 22 infantry here. That is what we have to deal with, is Italy is just pumping troops, putting them out there, and we can't even freaking make enough guns for our troops, let alone build troops. Um, I mean, I'm building a little bit of everything. I was going to see if I can make maybe these anti-tank. Um, but I've only got five. And the reason why is because... Obviously, Germany's known for their tanks, which they only have, looks like, th two right now. But I'm sure the majority of their army is around this area. Wouldn't it be great if we win as France? That would be freaking awesome. The chance of that happening is like 0. 0.0000. Basically zero. <laughs> oh, man. But it's going to be fun to see how how far we can hold them. And if we do get, you know, killed, which is probably what's going to happen. If we do have a territory, and if Italy doesn't do much in, in um, Africa and U.S. gets in the war early, then maybe we could reclaim a lot of territory. They'll, they'll regain this part of France, the, the southern part, and then we can maybe start helping. We'll see, though. Uh, I definitely don't want to beat a dead horse and play a, a battle I can't win. So we'll, we'll just kind of assess that situation when it comes. But, you know, we, we may be able to do this. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, well, this is a good stopping point. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to let me know what you think I should do for the next episode. And I will see you all in episode seven.